all of these haters were saying. Uh, big fat L for Eminem. Eminem hasn't made anything worth listening to since 2002. Usually like Eminem, but this song was just awful. I hate it when I say that new Eminem song is trash, and people say, it's not, it's a deep song about politics, this, that, the third. Um, okay, the song itself is still trash, L-M-A-O-I-D-G-A-F, what it's about? Well, first of all, man, first of all, can you just talk in proper English, like, what is it, L-M-A-O-A-D-G-A-F? <laughs> you don't have time, you don't have free time, like, are you in a hurry <laughs> to abbreviate everything? Even hardcore Eminem fans dislike that god-awful single. Jesus Christ, where did he go wrong? Personally, I think this album may be worse than Relapse. Not exactly looking forward to it. You know, I'm, I'm not really excited to hear this. Well, first of all, that album was dope as fuck. And second of all, all I want to say to these haters is... Shut the fuck up, I will fucking laser you with alien fucking eyes and explode your fucking head. Shut the fuck, try to write a rap. That's right, Kanye, that's right. Uh, <laughs> One of the greatest rappers in the game, Kanye West, defending the other. One of the greatest rappers in the history of mankind, Eminem. And it's a new album. It's a new album, Revival. I have been waiting for this for four years, and it's finally dropped. I don't care what other people is gonna say. Uh, if they think that it's not good, it's not good. I don't care uh, about those opinions. Uh, there is still, there are still a lot of uh, people just like me uh, who are enjoying Eminem's music and who are excited to listen to this album. And this is our celebration. Finally, Eminem drops. So let's just get into it. Finally, I've been waiting for this again. I'm saying this. All right, just stop it. Eminem <laughs> revival. I'm reacting to this, first reaction, let's go! Alright, track 1, Walk on Water, featuring Beyonce, you already heard it, uh, personally love the track, uh, it's amazing, uh, And but I'm really excited like about the second track, because like, the second track, I uh, believe, uh, is probably gonna be very aggressive, very raw, it will have like a raw beat, uh, and Eminem will really, really come off uh, aggressively because uh, at the end of the first track, Walk on Water, he hinted us uh, with that fact. Why? My expectations are so high. Threats, but I can't reach. Kids look to me as a god. This is retarded. If only they knew it's a facade and it's exhaustive. And I try not to listen to nonsense, but if you bitches are trying to strip me of my confidence, mission accomplished. To let you down. All right. All right, it's coming. <laughs> the second track is coming. I'm God like, so me, you are not a black bitch. I wrote Stay. And I split from the bottom like a snowman round up like round chuck and seal. Okay. So you stay round. Turn this up. Yeah. I just got the air around me. My wind chance. Yeah. Another day in the life. Used to have to speak to get by. The labor. Walk as if he enters the mind. Now look how government assistance is made. Yeah. Nice lyrics. Of course we believe in you, Eminem. Lights on. Eminem is back. God damn it. All right, my opinions on the track. Uh, actually. Uh, was again expecting like very aggressive delivery and stuff like that, but it didn't happen. It was like more kind of chill, just uh, calm Eminem, like spitting the truth basically. And uh, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, it was a pretty good song. Um, like the clever lines that were there, like at the beginning, for example, he was talking about the snowman, uh, like uh, starting from the bottom. Uh, building upon like a snowman like something like that so uh, not only that but a lot of other clever lines related to bruce willis for some reason also like um the freaking um uh, cleaning out my closet reference so there was a lot to um you know dig in but the main line uh, for me from that song would be the one where he said like bitch you thought uh it's over you thought i'm i'm done no, not quite yet. <laughs> you know, I'm still in the game. So like, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, track three, 
Chloroseptic featuring Fresher. Okay, yeah. pretty, <laughs> pretty yeah. unexpected kind of yeah. beat. Like, oh. oh, okay, I like this. It's growing. <laughs> it's definitely growing. <laughs> At first, I was like, what the fuck is this? But <laughs> now it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> Is he talking about like a real thing walls? Like the Donald Trump wall? Mexican wall? I don't know, like... I like some of the aspects of the song but at the same time it's like I'm kind of disappointed well first of all as I like there are good stuff in this uh, like I like the like do do like freaky do 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 Ha, ha, kind of thing uh, on the on the beat, uh, but like the delivery, the like the song itself is just like not entertaining to listen to. I'm not sure about the um, message because I like again I'm not a fluent English speaker, American speaker, Amer English speaker, <laughs> but, uh, basically. But you know, like I cannot catch everything what he says. Uh, I have to dig into genius.com and stuff like that, but like, and maybe maybe he was spitting real stuff, uh, of course, but you know, it's just like, in terms of production, it's like not entertaining to listen to, unfortunately, and like, so far, I, I don't know, like, uh, it's like crazy, man, it's like, I'm not liking Eminem track, uh, it's very sad. Um, the second track was fine, the second track was not bad at all, but the third one I'm kind of having problems since like uh, we are having that the, like similar sound pretty much, uh, like in terms of produ production if you think about Untouchable which can be track 4 we already all uh, heard it, um, track 3, track 2 is like they have a similar uh, like path like this in the music, in the, mu in the beat you know, they have similar sound. Uh, and that sound like I'm not sure it's it's a good direction. Oh. Well, untouchable. Untouchable. I, I like untouchable. By the way, don't get me wrong. It grew on me much more. At first, listen, I was like, eh. but now I was like, white boy, white boy. But I like the production on this now. In my first reaction, I said that uh, uh, I don't really dig the production, but now I kind of love it because, like, uh, from uh, like till two minutes, uh, he was uh, a white boy, you know, like he was rapping from the perspective of a white man, and then uh, like after the switch up, he was uh, rapping about. Uh, being black, you know, and uh, all the issues and struggles that uh, black men, typical black men in America, you know, faces. Okay, track five, Eminem, River featuring Ed Sheeran. I was hyped about this and intrigued what's gonna happen. Okay, Ed Sheeran. So far, so good. Damn it, Ed Sheeran. Sing it, boy. Sing it, my man. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Damn, I love the love the instrumental of this one. That guitar is just fucking amazing. Okay. Nice. <laughs> How you said like fuck. <laughs> that was good. That was good. And I'm sure you know the chorus. What else do you need? 
a student, for example, uh, in his childhood, he was always, uh, you know, listening to Eminem. Like, I think the story goes like this. So in his childhood, uh, he accidentally found uh, Eminem's uh, Marshall Meadows LP. Uh, probably his dad was listening to it. And then he, well, it's, it's explicit lyrics and children should not listen to it. Uh, but like, he still got it. He still started listening. And then from that point, uh, man couldn't stop listening to rap, and particularly to Eminem. So it's just like Ed Sheeran, uh, like dreams come true basically for him, uh, collaborating with Eminem. Who who would have thought? And it came out pretty decent, and I like it. I like the um, this. Uh, I like this track basically. I like the fusion of uh, acoustic guitar and like. Uh, Eminem's rap, you know, it, it was good, it was good, and like, and like uh, this for sure is gonna be all over the radio, this is a track, uh, like next single, Easily, for Eminem, and like, uh, of course we, uh, you know, when it comes to Eminem, we always think, oh damn, like, uh, where is uh, all the uh, aggressive stuff or funny stuff, like, but probably Eminem is not about that anymore uh, as, at least with this album uh, we were all expecting collaborations with uh, hip-hop artists that are training right now uh, uh, that are around right now uh, K-Dot collaboration would have been great of course uh, Kendrick Lamar um, To Chains I actually wouldn't mind to listen to To Chains and Eminem because I like To Chains like he's late laid-back cat but it's just like and more artists but unfortunately uh, or fortunately, uh, who knows? Uh, we got we don't have any uh, rap uh, collaborations here. We have pop collaborations, and I'm fine with that completely. Cause like at this point, you know, uh, one of my favorites, one of my favorite albums uh, from Eminem was actually Recovery, and Recovery uh, had a lot of you know uh, pop rap tracks with Rihanna, with Pink. And uh, his solo songs without featuring was good. Uh, well, still one of the <laughs> one of the best tracks were uh, "No Love" featuring Lil Wayne. And it's kind of yeah, it's it's actually sad. Yeah, I agree. It's it's pretty sad that we didn't get any hip hop features. I'm talking too much <laughs> over here, but yeah, like hip hop uh, features would have been nice. But we just we have to accept that Eminem is like uh, at this point more pop rap rather than like hip-hop straight hip-hop you know from the streets so um yeah just enjoy for what it is i enjoyed uh river i think that was pretty good um and i enjoy welcome water well let's keep it going we still have a lot of tracks track six remind me intro it reminds me of those national anthem performances like poof poof kind of effects they are there you know during the national anthems familiar yeah. beat turn around, turn around. track 7 remind me so he's actually aiming for rap rock fusion in this album to it more and then you will be able to enjoy it like you know I remember when I first listened to Marshall Matters LP2 and back in 2013 I also didn't really like it like there was the track Ber Berserk for example now I love it like it's really fun to listen to but at that time I was like what is this like I'm not digging it and I also had like that 
fusion of uh, rock, well, light rock. It's not that heavy metal and shit, but I don't know. Like it's still like I feel like something is missing. Like it's supposed to be fun track to listen to. It's like ba 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 kind of thing. It's like you should be kind of pumped, you know, like having a good time. Instead, it just like flops for some reason. Like now, when I'm editing this video, I have discovered that I actually danced to this song for the first minute. Right? Uh, I was enjoying the song, so why why I'm complaining after the song? Right? So the thing is, the rest of the song for me went flat because it was the same thing and it didn't changed it wasn't changed at all there wasn't any transition and uh to me the song became boring and i was sitting there for like another four minutes i believe the track was pretty long and that's the main problem of this album as well because eminem could have just make the songs three or four minutes long but sometimes there are five or six minutes long and this fact is preventing me personally uh, to enjoy some of the songs for example uh, Untouchable even uh, I like the song but it could have be four minutes I don't know what's maybe we we just like like Eminem's trying something new uh, and it's good like you know it's good that he explores new genre of music new, new style but like, we of course wanted like real, like straight hip hop as Eminem was giving us. Not always, but you know, usually at least the still like the beats were dope, the lyricism was dope. And now it's like, lyr lyricism is still there on tracks. Uh, not in everyone. I don't think that this this particular track uh, we just listened to was all amazing in terms of lyrics. Um, but the production is just f it's it's like it's flopping because of his attempt to go, you know, to like to go rock. Rick Rubin, for example, he he has worked with uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, I believe he has worked with Nirvana, I'm not sure, but he has worked with rock uh, bands, top ones, uh, and he has worked with uh, rappers as well, Beastie Boys, uh, with Eminem particularly he worked with before as well in 2013. He knows the shit, like he knows how to bring a good rock song or how to bring a rap song but maybe it's just like Eminem maybe one song would have been cool but like full album of this it's like it's like a miss unfortunately um, and again it, it my, my opinion might change I untouchable like I like it now if my first reaction was pretty well not that negative but it's sort of negative still I said that I'm not really digging it here like you know, I was waiting for my Eminem, you know, kind of, and I'm not even nostalgic about Slim Shady or as people are saying, oh, back in 2000, in 2001, like, 30 years ago, let's say, well, not 30, of course, but uh, 15 years ago, right, like, uh, when he was Slim Shady, he was great, um, now, like, after that era, like, uh, he, at the beginning, like, since 2002, he didn't release anything good I like totally disagree with that bunch of amazing tracks uh, came after that as well like uh, albums I love all of the Eminem albums don't get me wrong I love all of them but this is like might be the first I'm not digging like I, I don't know like I'm we're listening to this completely like I mean we will listen we're gonna listen to all tracks I hope that I'm gonna change my mind but it's now like my uh, fear that was like when I was going to this album, I was a little bit afraid that you know maybe you know the buzz around like the negativity uh, around Eminem now, like in terms of oh he's not that good anymore, like might be the truth and like um, 
you know there is no um, smoke without a fire mm. I mean <laughs> there's no fire without the smoke so if I'm saying it correctly anyway so like uh, uh, there were reasons why people were saying this right like when Kendrick Lamar for example dropped down uh, everybody loved it and it was a great record right and nobody was complaining about them everybody just loved it and fortunately here is like the reality is not a great uh, record and that's why people were skeptical um, and that's is the, those you know thoughts and those frustrations coming from real Eminem fan uh, I got into hip-hop because of Eminem and a lot of people got into hip-hop because of Eminem if it wasn't for Eminem we wouldn't be here together right now we wouldn't be interested in rap uh, I'm serious like uh, Eminem is the best-selling uh, artist in, in hip-hop of all time uh, he has so many million records sold uh, around the world and um, white people and people across the world they all, I mean, me, myself, I, I live, I mean, <laughs> I'm from freaking Uzbekistan, it's in Asia, it's near Russia, uh, and now in Russia, for example, there's like versus uh, uh, battles uh, going on, it's very popular right now, it's like um, every video, like, I guess 15, 20 million views easily, and then like, you know, people are, people are hyped about rap, and people are, the one, one of the uh, biggest performer of that versus uh, battle uh, uh, got into rap because he watched 8 Mile you know because Eminem uh, got into the game then people started to recognize what is rap and now uh, even Grammys have like 3 out of 5 uh, songs uh, records of the year are all hip hop because people enjoy it so much and Eminem opened the door for us all and I love him for that, and it, that's why he's my favorite artist. It's just like now I'm, I'm expressing all these feelings, and uh, because, like, I was waiting for this album for such a long time, and unfortunately, the expectations, as uh, on Walk on Water, he said, are not, are not like didn't met, are not met, like didn't reach. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but yeah. Well, let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Um, track 8, Revival Interlude, let's see. Okay, it's pretty beautiful, I like it. It's an interlude for Revival and the, is the next song Revival? Oh no, it's just, never mind. Okay, and then like home featuring Alicia Keys. Yeah. I always love Alicia Keys. To Track nine. Someone get this area in a sheet. Time to bury him to tell him to prepare to get impeached. Everybody on your feet. This is where terrorism and life come. To pull us from the records, that's what we get pride from. When we can't go as far as right. This type of people that we're in hard to deal. But there's always tomorrow. And here's to where it goes. Is this Alicia Keys? Sounds like Skylar Gray more. But I like this track. It's not bad. Not bad. I like this track. I like it. Finally, like <laughs> another one I like. That's good. Uh, track. And bad husband featuring ex ambassadors. Okay, let's see. We never saw from each other's sides, but eye to eye. Thug had another view spotted out on the back. Girls and dad is a scumbag. I'm confused. Cried a lot. I never forget when you came home and you held Haley. But I hated that me, and I don't want to see that side again. But I'm sorry, Kim. More than you could ever come. Good personal track. Uh, Eminem was uh, telling 
uh, about his relationship with Kim, uh, talking uh, directly to Kim basically. Um, that you know, I we we thought that we were gonna be forever, and sometimes we loved each other so much uh, to the point that you know there was like a uh, love hate relationship. You know those kind of relationships uh, that too much that you couldn't even like like barely can stand each other kind of stuff like it happens and i love the fact that you know eminem like kim is just one love of his life he's not really good with women he <laughs> a lot of times uh he dissed women uh, particularly uh, in his songs uh, even <laughs> with the uh, like even this year um on uh, no favors uh, I'm urinating on Fergie I mean I like Fergie but <laughs> it was funny and like uh, Eminem had a great verse on no, no favors this year you know like and it's just strange that Eminem in his album he like he's not dropping those fire verses and fire rap tracks unfortunately um, but this uh, we cannot hate on that because like this is very personal track uh, I like the, what he said there uh, as an Eminem fan I, I'm interested in uh, what in Eminem's life and what he's thinking about he's not a very you know outgoing person uh, and like we don't really know much about his personal life we only know uh, you know through his songs I like the way um, he said that we're st we're good at something uh, but on the other hand, we're bad at something else. You know, you may be greatest in one in one particular thing, but you, on the other areas of life, maybe not that well. You know, and so uh, oftentimes, very successful people don't really have, you know, great love relationship because uh, they invest themselves into the work so much that you know the love is also another. Uh, investment that you should do you know like a lot to ha have a happy marriage to have a happy love um, and Eminem unfortunately uh, with Kim they didn't still find that balance but I like the way that you know Eminem still talks about Kim and it's like regret about the facts and uh, like things would happen before and I love the fact that Eminem is love I mean Eminem's uh, love of his life is only Kim Kim and no one else next track tragic endings featuring Skylar Gray okay we will rock you type of beat Nice, good chorus, good chorus. Alright, tracks well framed. Marshall. <sighs> Track 13, Nowhere Fast featuring Kelani. Okay, Kelani, gotta uh, spice the things up, please. <laughs> Okay, nice violin, nice flow. Okay, keep it steady, keep going. Eminem Heat, track 14. Do it when you want. The 
this is not a rap track still, but it's still, still it's kind of banging at least, you know? At least it's like more entertaining to listen to. Track 15, I found it. Yeah, pretty intriguing. Bouncy, bouncy. Yeah. Ooh. I like this track. Yeah, I definitely do. This is this is cool. This is nice. This is interesting. That's what we wanted. That flow. Woo! Damn it. Finally, like the track I I was expecting kinda of, at least by quality. Damn it took so long for him to deliver this. Fifteenth track. That track <laughs> Definitely had uh, a lot to offer in terms of lyrics as well. Uh, he was talking about um, Donald Trump and uh, he addressed why you kind of didn't reply to me uh, after I, you know, dissed you on the BET freestyle. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, he mentioned uh, Ivanka uh, and Melania Trump as well. He also threw out, threw a lot of names, so I heard Bill Cosby, for example, you know, there is a lot of kind of border lines Eminem was crossing as he would, he would do in like uh, Slim Shady era on this track. So that's what I really liked about it. And also I like the fact that Eminem was rapping really fast, uh, especially at the end of the track. I just was very impressed and uh, Eminem still have the skill, you know. Uh, to do this kind of things and that's what I like uh, about it. I hope that you made to this part of the video. I hope that uh, You didn't leave uh, After the fact that I was criticizing Eminem that much I was criticizing Eminem that much because he's my favorite artist and like I wanted best you know for him and I wanted I wanted to get what I was expecting what I was hoping for and it's just different like I thought of also Kid Cudi's <laughs> speeding bullet to heaven for some reason when Kid Cudi you know before he was doing rap stuff and then suddenly changed to uh, speeding bullet to heaven and it became a horrible result uh, here it's not the case uh, but I have I had those thoughts because you know I was not liking and uh, as Kid Cudi Eminem also changed to uh, punk stuff, rock stuff, um, and I did have that parallel in my mind, and that's why it was kind of like always that negativity was on my mind. Well, uh, let's listen to other tracks. We still have uh, more. Need me featuring Pink. Cannot go wrong with Pink's vocals. Pink is great. Mm. Very passionate. I like this track. I like this, I like this, I like this. 
Nice. Great song. Track 17 in your head. It's a familiar song. Was it Dido? Nice fucking sample. Pretty nostalgic. Castle. Track 18. Not bad. <laughs> okay. What happened there? If I could rewind time like a tape inside a boom box, one day for every pill. I'm sure I had the strength to just blow a kiss. I go to make a fist, but I can't make what I'm talking to. By the way, track 19 arose. Uh, last track of the album. I gotta, I gotta uh, go out and seek the lyrics for this song. We heard this already, right? Is it like from the older track? An interesting switch up. <laughs> Transition to a older song uh, from the from the same track list. All right, final thoughts <laughs> on revival. Um, first of all, I gotta say that first reactions are you know, first reactions. Sometimes songs don't hit right away. You know, there are songs definitely in your life where first time you listen to it, you think it's not good. You don't dig it and then after listening to it more you start appreciating it and then end up loving it even uh, i had a lot of first reactions in this channel where i gave positive review where i was dancing my ass off but then would never come back uh, to the track and listen to it um, wasn't interested to come back or when i did came back when i did come back uh the track wasn't that good so who knows i have a like with this album i have a lot of mixed feelings as you already understood uh some tracks i liked some tracks i disliked the overall album i uh for me right now it's c you know it's uh it's not b it's not a it's, it's not that bad but it's it's not that great uh maybe my opinion will change and if it will change, I will make another uh, video, uh, just a quick update kind of thing on the album and say that I was wrong and uh, I love the album now, uh, which happened to Untouchable track, you know? I mean, in here I'm saying that I love the track and uh, on my first reaction I wasn't really impressed with the track. But yeah, at least we, we got a lot of uh, MM tracks uh, where, you know, he got personal again and I... Uh, interested in his life uh, you know what what's up with him right now um, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna study it I'm um, not you know I try to analyze things when we're listening to the tracks and at this point this video is really long maybe the longest video I have ever done but it's it's worth it I hope that you know <laughs> people are watching still uh, by the way if you're watching and um, let's make a hashtag I'm still with Eminem because uh, like you know even if this album is bad and overall reviews will be bad uh, on this album uh, we as Eminem fans will still support Eminem no matter what we'll still uh, you know expect we'll still hope that another album will come another album will drop but if that album will drop Let's make it hip hop, <laughs> please. Like more. Uh, this is was just like uh, more punk album, 
with uh, rapping uh, on it. But yeah, with this album, uh, I have a very complicated relationship as Eminem and uh, Kim <laughs> had uh, their whole lives. Um, hopefully, hopefully I, it will grow on me. Hopefully, I will love Eminem album because I was waiting for four years to enjoy another Eminem project, and I want to enjoy it. I don't want to be disappointed and kind of throw it away. I bought this album to support my man. Um, I hope that you know uh, it will do good on the charts, and I hope that people will like it. Haters gonna shut up. Uh, that's all my thoughts. Uh, yeah, we'll end it on that. Uh, thank you guys. I appreciate it a lot if you have made uh, to this point of the video. If you're still with me, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I I'm sick today. Like I I mean I got sick yesterday, and so was not really energetic, and my talkings were not that interesting as well because of the like. Uh, first of all the mood wasn't that good because like I was kind of disappointed and then also I'm kind of sick so it's like not that great right now to, to be hyped and energetic but yeah thank you again uh, we'll still uh, react to some more albums I'm really excited for uh, and ERD no one ever really dies album that should be dope as fuck uh, dope beats also saturation 3 Brockhampton and if you're interested in pop, Charlie XCX, uh, it also came out, uh, hoping to react to all of these albums. Uh, and then I'm leaving to Uzbekistan uh, at the end of this weekend on Sunday. So, uh, a lot, lot of things to come. Um, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel if you are here for the first time, if you like this video. Uh, click the notification bell notification as well as to be updated with all the videos I'm dropping and let me know if you like this album or not. Пока. Hayr, auf Wiedersehen, arrivederci, adios, ciao, ciao, au revoir, hora office, annyeong, goodbye. Cause sometimes you just feel tired.